Minus 15. Minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, uh, my name's Pauline. My name's Sam. Hi, my name's Kirsten. My name's Ian Saunders. Okay, my name's Emma Hutchison. So my name's Linda. My name's Christopher Brash. Yeah, my name's Colin McQuillan. I would encourage you to study science. St science? Oh, the blah. Yeah, I like to call myself a master of the universe. That sounds awful as well. So, so I'm not a complete team. Um, I actually play football quite regularly, although the team is called the Institute of Cell and Molecular Biology. No, that was, yeah, that was yeah. <laughs> I'm currently attending Banff and Buckingham College to do a HNC in electrical engineering. I've always loved science, um, first and second year, when it was just a variety of all sciences. In third year, I took physics as one of my subjects. I'm the only girl on the course out of 30 blokes, but more and more women are getting into the industry. It's great, I love what I do. It starts off simple jobs and it progresses onto big transformers, motors, electric valves. As a child, I loved to find out how things worked. I opened them up and took screws off of things I probably shouldn't take screws off and poke my fingers about. After I've finished my two years at Banff and Buckingham College, I will be going offshore to continue for another two years. Um, to continue my training where I will be earning between 16 and 18 thousand pounds a year and after that the world's my oyster. When I studied science at school I didn't think that I'd be in such a good job. A typical day in my job they will open up and get it ready for the public. We will do presentations throughout the day. That means getting in the rock pool. We have to get into our dry suits as the water is pretty cold. We have starfish, grey mullet. We have some small sharks, which are our dogfish. And we also have different crabs. We have two bearded dragons. And this one is Jack. And we'll be feeding him on locusts today. Biology was one of my favourite subjects at school. Basically, it was the one where you got to have fun while learning. You got to do all the different experiments. You learned about the plants, the animals, in depth, as much as you wanted to learn. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was a really good subject to take. My name is Colin McQuillan. I grew up in Kirkcaldy. Currently, I work in Dundee, um, a company called Proper Games. I'm a producer here which means I'm basically in charge of about 14 or 15 guys made up from uh, developers, um, artists, designers um, and a whole kind of range of, of skills. I don't particularly have a, um, an average day here at all. Um, you know, one day you can be in a, a long whole day meeting, other days you can be sitting playing the latest games. When I was a child, always interested in games and programming, I decided it's about time that I follow my dreams and get back into computing. Uh, so I just took it upon myself to, to walk into uh, Adam Smith College in Glenorthis um, and pick up a prospectus. Picked up one of the um, NC courses um, and started my higher education career at the very bottom. The subjects I took were uh, maths, English obviously, um, technological studies, uh, physics and chemistry. Um, I suppose uh, my, my favourite was technological studies but Again, never really thought about it being a career, it was just something that really interested me. Um, and then my life came full circle and this is what I do for a living. I'm a producer making the wonderful games with uh, a range of really skillful and experienced people, so it's wonderful. I'm studying Monarchan at Dundee University, uh, based at the Kirkcaldy campus. Initially I didn't realise how much I was going to enjoy Monarchan, if I'm totally honest. Um, Monarchan for me has been definitely working with people, um, from working on the ward with your, your co-workers to working with your patient. Monarchan's really about caring for people, and it's, it sounds so cliche and so straightforward, but as a few, if you're a caring person then it's kind of come second nature to you. 
When I was in high school, I chose to do maths, English, physics, chemistry and biology. I never knew at that time that just applying myself to science, or at least trying it, I was going to get so much from it. But when I was at high school, I know choosing subjects such as science was seen as a geeky thing to do or something that was going to be really difficult. I didn't know then that science could open up such a massive world for me. I mean, next year I'm going to be going to America and, and fulfilling a dream, really, and, and getting a dream job and a good salary. And if I hadn't done my science at school, I wouldn't be able to do this. Right, guys, what have we got here? What have we got? Michael Jackson? <laughs> What's the question? Name a famous Scottish actor, singer, painter, or writer, Michael Jackson. Where's Michael Jackson from? Always wanted to be a football player and played football from primary school right up to secondary school. And I was lucky enough to sing for my hometown team, the team that I supported, that was Dundee Football Club. Getting a degree in sports coaching development um, has allowed me to work in sports every day from Monday to Friday, being outside in the summer, um, also getting a very good salary, which, which, which really helps. My job is to try and keep um, children in, in all the cluster schools and the primary school fit and active and get them involved in sports. Uh, every day is different. Um, today I've been doing a pirate sports day. Um, in the afternoon I'm doing orienteering. Um, last week I was away to Glen Shee with the kids for a, an adventure week. The week before that I was away to France for a rugby tournament um, with children from all over Dundee. So every week's uh, different and no week, week's the same. It's, it's great. So my name's Linda, I'm from Dundee. I went to school in Dundee and university in Dundee. I studied three standard grades, biology, physics and chemistry. And then I went on to do um, physics and chemistry and biology at higher. And then I went to university and I studied pharmacology and neuroscience. The general perception of science when I was at school was that it was for people who either wanted to be a vet or a doctor or work in a lab. Um, and I would say it was one of the less cooler subjects to do. And now I work at Dundee Science Centre. I'm the science learning manager there. A typical day would involve um, speaking to all the team, make sure they know what's happening throughout the day, whether we've got schools in or community groups in, or possibly an event at night time. I would make sure the exhibition floor was all set up, ready for any visitors coming in. I might be delivering a science show to some school children, or possibly hosting an event like a cafe science event for some adults that are coming into the centre. So science is, is cool. We all do it every day. Um, we're always investigating new things and that's what science is about. The state of the art in prosthetic hands for amputees um, is now a robotic hand. So this really intrigued me, how you can attach a robot to the human nervous system and have it controlled by, by thought alone. So my research is looking at sort of taking the existing robotic hand, sensorising it with, with sensors like force and position, and feeding that back to the patient. There are lots of reasons we'd like to sensorise a robotic hand. One would be just so that person can pick up an egg without breaking it, pick up a cup without squeezing it too hard. Um, Another very important reason is that the hand would be accepted by the amputee. And my research is looking at how you do that, how you provide that feedback interface to the, to the patient. So I tried really hard, did well in my GCSEs and, and A-levels, and then got into university. I went to Cambridge University for my undergraduate, studying computer science. Um, and then my, my passion for science sort of took over, and I, I, was, I was always fascinated about the human brain and how that works. In a way, it's like, to me, it's like a computer system that we don't understand how it works yet. And my interest in computer science and neuroscience took me up to Edinburgh, where neuroscience is very strong. So, so through my love of science, I'm getting a real opportunity to help people and make a difference, um, which you know, really motivates me and, and keeps me going. I've always loved astronomy. I'm really passionate about it. Um, since I was a teenager, I've really enjoyed it. But um, I love science and I think it's so important to, to everything, to everyday life. A typical day for me would be uh, when I go into the office, check the emails, make sure your supervisor doesn't want a meeting, check the scientific research that's going on uh, round about you. After coffee, you can start your own research and it's your computer programme 
that you've got to analyse, make sure it's got no bugs in it, uh, analyse any of your data, um, then it's lunchtime. And then there's more computer programming, but the majority of it is spent making sure your, your results are, are what you need them to be. Sometimes in first and second year, science doesn't seem the most exciting thing to do. A lot of it is your teacher has to do the work and you just sit and watch and write up a, a lab report on it. But once you get to your third year, you really start to understand what's going on and you discover that science is absolutely everywhere. I picked physics and chemistry, maths, geography, which were my favourite ones to do. Uh, and then we had to do English and you had to do an art subject. Um, I was not very good at English <laughs> at all. No. Um, and then when I got onto my hires, I took my physics and chemistry and maths. Because I was told that physics was a challenge, uh, when I came to pick my subjects in second year, that immediately sparked something in me and I thought, this is, I want to prove to people that I can do this. And I already knew that I liked science, but I thought physics, you know, if people say it's difficult, I'm going to show them that it's not that difficult. And I never looked back. Guys, choosing size at school can lead you to your dream job, just like me as an active school sports coordinator. So I'd like to get the message across, especially to girls, that science isn't just some boring subject you do at school. It leads to many great things. Without science, I wouldn't be able to complete this course that I'm doing. Uh, the world will be my oyster soon. I'll be doing the dream job and getting paid loads of money for it. I'm living my dream and I want to encourage you to do the same. Science has opened up a whole new career pathway and life for me. I really want to encourage you to consider science as a subject and as a career option. Try out science and you'll realise how exciting it is. There's always new things to explore and you never know what's going to happen because I never thought that I'd be sitting here today as the Science Learning Manager at Dundee Science Centre after studying um, science at school. I'd like to encourage you to take sciences, you never know, it could lead to a fun job like this. Science is our history, but it's also our future, and it's around us every day of our lives, whether we realise it or not. I think science is for more of you than you actually realise. If, like me, you've got questions to ask, like to solve problems and, and want to know how the world works, then science is definitely the career for you. It gives you a real chance to follow your dreams and change the world, and truly that's something worth investigating. <laughs>